Hi, this is P.R. Sundar and welcome to this special episode uh, where I am going to talk about a sensitive topic. Uh, the hot discussion among the trading community uh, is the budget. And every year budget comes, uh, a lot of expectations, a uh, lot of rumors. And uh, in 2018, uh, there was a strong rumor that the capital gain tax will be introduced for long term capital gain. Before 2018, there was no long term capital gain tax. It was zero. The long term capital gain tax was introduced and our markets fell in 2018. This time around, rumors are floating around once again related to long term capital gain tax. So there are two rumors. One, the definition of long term capital gain will be changed from one year to three year. In fact, for all other asset classes, long term capital gain is more than three years. Only for equity, it is kept as one year. It may be revised to three years. And that will be a very bad news when it comes to stock market. The second rumor that is floating around, instead of a concessional tax rate of 10%, so the capital gain will be taxed as per your tax lab, uh, which will be much higher. Right now, there is a 1 lakh free, beyond 1 lakh only, so it is 10% capital gain, but without indexation. So, we don't know if at all things change, so if the capital gain is clubbed under your income, uh, whether it will be clubbed under your income for the total profit or with the indexation benefit. So, these are all lot of uncertainties. These rumors everybody knows. So, what is this video is about? I am going to put my argument why dividend should not be taxed or why capital gain, at least the long term capital gain tax should be zero. Let me give you one analogy. Let us say uh, four or five of us come together and each one contributes some money and we set up a company which is a partnership company. If some of us come together, contribute some money each, so we are all partners, so we set up a company called partnership company. That partnership company does the business, makes the profit, pay the tax to the government. After paying the tax, whatever the money is there, that can be distributed to all of us and we will not be required to pay tax. Why we will not be required to pay tax? Because the tax has already been paid by the partnership company. Now, if you are talking about a bigger company, a listed company, I would say this is also a partnership company, but instead of four or five partners, we have four lakh, five lakh partners or four crore, five crore partners. So it's a very, very big company. You know, the shareholders, they're as good as their partners. So we all lakhs and lakhs of people come together. We contribute some money and give it to a company. So that company does the business. That company pays the tax to the government. Whatever the remaining profit is there, that is only being distributed to the partners or shareholders. We don't call partners, we call them shareholders. And money is being distributed in the form of dividend. Because the tax has already been paid by the company and with the remaining money is dividend is distributed. So why there should be a dividend tax and that becomes a double taxation. Logically speaking, in a partnership company, what you are getting is also a, a kind of dividend. And in a big company, what you are getting dividend is also a sharing of profit. So they both should have a same treatment. But in partnership company, you don't pay tax. But when you receive a dividend from a listed company, you pay tax. So this becomes a double taxation. And same thing, if a company does very well, makes a good profit, then the company pays a good tax to the government. Even after paying a good tax, so the profit is very good, that is why the share price goes up. If the company is not doing well, and if they are not making profit, they will not pay tax to the government, but their share price also will not increase. So the share price goes up, okay, which means that the company has been doing very well. And that company is already being paying tax a very well amount of money as a tax to the government. So when here I am booking the profit, so which means I am getting out as a partner from this company. I'm transferring my shares to somebody else and he becomes a partner in that company. When I'm exiting, that is because I'm exiting with a profit because my company has made good profit and paid a good 
tax to the government so now for this capital gain if i am paying tax once again so this again becomes a double taxation logically speaking we are shareholders are just like partners and our partnership company uh, paying tax to the government and that is why the dividend we are receiving directly from the company or the capital appreciation we are receiving indirectly from the company if the company is not going doing well share price will not go up so both these cases we are paying tax so that amounts to uh, double taxation and the worst thing is that you know the previous government uh, when i say previous government is a congress government when they removed capital gain tax long term capital gain tax they brought in stt security transaction tax so that time the argument was that you know uh, this security transaction tax is introduced in lieu of capital gain tax but that logic itself is wrong why because capital gain tax is being paid by the people who make the capital gain but stt is being paid whether you make a profit or you make a loss so everybody will have to pay but now capital gain tax is also introduced and stt also continues to stay but despite all this discouragement you know our indian markets have always been good and uh, the volumes always going higher and uh, national stock exchange of india retains the uh, privilege of being the largest derivative exchange in the world uh, but however so uh, what i thought i'm just putting it so there is no logic in taxing dividend income there is no logic in uh, taxing the long term capital gain tax but you know just to conclude you know one of uh, tamil uh, lyrics writer spoke somewhere the taxation there are two ways you no know, one honey bee is taking honey from the flower there is one way of taxing another one is uh, sugar cane juice is extracted from sugar cane somehow i feel that uh, taxation in india uh, belongs to the second category uh, it should belong to uh, the first category let us see uh, what happens in the budget but uh, although this is the rumor and we are discussing uh, most of the time whatever the rumors Uh, going around before the budget 95% of them continue to be rumor only so in the budget no, there is no such thing so anyway uh, 2018 when this rumor was floating around i did not believe that but that came long term capital gain tax came so this time i just do not want to take a chance and uh, as a trader i am planning to close my positions before the budget i will start recreating the positions after the budget i will like to go uh, with zero positions ahead of the budget but incidentally on the same day we have a fed meeting also uh, sometimes it's better to be away from the market so hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching